what is a man? A miserable pile of lies! This week, I've been going mad. I've occasionally smoked for my entire adult life, but I didn't actually pick it up as a regular habit until earlier this year when my equine antidepressants were embargoed. Saudi Arabia, great defense. Yes, yes, smoking is a horrible addiction. Smokers stink, their pulmonary systems are inefficient, they're inconsiderate, they probably have bad credit scores, and they stink. But in all the anti-smoking propaganda, Yay, anti-smoking propaganda, that's good propaganda, like when the Allies airdropped loads of doctored photos of Hitler with his knob out. In all the anti-smoking propaganda, I wish they'd actually be a bit more honest. Growing up, I was never clear why anyone would ever smoke. It's addictive, it's harmful, smokers were increasingly shunned. It's not like people at my hoity-toity second secondary school thought it was cool. To them it was a sign of daddy having a job of work. So why did people smoke? Ever decreasing circles of peer pressure? Well, the unfortunate truth, which saying out loud makes me feel like I'm going to be accused of being pro-tobacco or something like that, the unfortunate truth is as harmful and truly disgusting as it indisputably is, smoking is quite enjoyable. It offers a momentary 30 to 90 second relief that you can't get as sustainably with alcohol in between classes or during your three minute break by the grease trap. Disgusting, unpleasant, exceedingly unhealthy relief from the agony of life. Fuck yourself and fuck yourself. Also, the same reasons why you can't just have a wank. Most of my tobacco usage in my 20s was inspired by drinking. I never bought my own pack. But then, after coming to America, I found it to be an economical alternative to food and I became actually addicted, and it's the feeling of addiction that made me stop. Addiction ever knocking, ever knocking on my heady door. Thoughts of cheap Marlboro. If cigarettes weren't addictive, I'd smoke them all the time. Slightly more addictive than cocaine, it wasn't actually difficult for me to quit. It's not like I was smoking even 10 a day. More, it was just unproductive. After a week, all cravings were gone, but for the first three days, it was sort of like being reunited with my old felt-wearing self. People who drive through parking lots with no regard for the white line should be keel-hauled. Every time the Supreme Court makes a decision that isn't entirely unanimous, the justices should all be dismissed to separate hermitages to live out their lives in total isolation. And I'm saying that as a nice guy. People making any noise at any time should be catapulted into the fucking sun. Bomb Iran. Bomb London. Bomb your mum with love, and also a chemical agent that causes infertility. Take Twitter offline. Ban cars, ban sidewalks, ban Zuckerberg, ban Fallon. Ban people all to fucking gather. And the sun. What does the sun think it's doing shining in my fucking eyes? I will fight you, son. I will spend my life working out to extinguish you. Oh wait, that's just some halogen headlamps. Ban halogen headlamps. And when I say ban, I mean with six-inch artillery shells. And so on. Also, Prince Andrew, I... Terms of service, terms of service, terms of service, terms of service. But after a few days, this dissipated, and I regained my usual healthy sense of apathy that allows me to blend in among the normals. Is it among... Is it amongst? That's something I possibly would have got upset about a few days ago. Not now. I don't give a fucking shit. And for those wondering what my plan is in the case of stressful situations and subsequent cravings, I intend to entirely give up on my life and society so as to never feel stress or worry ever again. Sort of like I'm going to be a human sea urchin, or else an inanimate object, perhaps an objet d'art. I will say this about smoking, it made everything smell a lot better. Is it me, or does everything smell of old piss all the time, and look like shit, and taste like fireball whiskey? Also, I don't know if it's possible, but could I do like an anti-sponsor thing? Anti-sponsored by Fireball Whiskey. I would love to be sponsored by everyone in the universe bar Fireball Whiskey. For nothing. It's free. I'm sponsored by everything in the universe, everything, except Fireball Whiskey. Exclusion. Sponsorships. 
should be a thing. Note that down. That's the only thing I can do. Anyway, I'm on day five now, so I'm completely over it and everything's fine and back to normal. Except that my life is a lot more boring now, but that's fine. So, you know, no problem, no cravings or anything. Bye. Bye. I fucking hate you all!